Nikki Feeding Souls. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the Nikki Feeding Soul Show. We are here at the cooking segment, and I am so honored to share with you. A really simple, easy way to make Thai food at home. My goal is to have you be able to make tom yam at home in under 10 minutes. Deal? Sounds good. Let's go and check out these fresh ingredients that I got here for you today. Tom yam is honestly really all about the herbs. We have fresh kefir lime leaves, some galango, lemongrass. I mean. It just honestly feeds your soul. The way that you want to really play with up with these ingredients is all about how you boil it all up. But at the end of the day, I have to tell you, there is really no one way to do this. If you believe that you can make your soup in under five minutes, we can make it happen. The best way is to get all the oils out of your lemongrass and the kefir lime leaves. So let's start with that. I have a hot boiling pot going, and it can be just chicken stock or honestly just water. If you're a vegetarian, no big deal whatsoever. Kefir lime leaves. The best way for you to get kefir lime leaves is just tear them. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. If it smells good, we add it. I'm gonna slowly add a few things at a time. Lemongrass. You really only want to use just two-third bottoms of the lemongrass, and you want to get it all the oils coming out because that's where all the goodness is. Then your hands smell all good. If you want to use any of the tools you got in your kitchen, feel free. And I am going to keep them. More or less all together because you actually don't want to be eating this. It is very stalky, but it makes your soup amazing. Okay, we have galango now. I know you don't really see a lot of this. I like to call this Ginger's sister. It is has this undertone spice, and what's really cool about that? Once you bite into it, it really kicks you in. Anyway. Okay, so slice these. You do not want to use or cut them really small because again, it is really stalky. You do not want to be eating this. Keep them in a like a nice little big chunks. Oh, spice, spice level. Thai chili peppers is the way to go. If you are not a spicy person, I recommend putting in the red ones because you can find them and fish them out. But if you really want to scare somebody, you can totally cut them extremely small. They would think it's green onions. You would probably slowly kill them, but that's the fun part of Thai cuisine, right? Okay, now we got the herbs. We're gonna let that go. In. The ingredients of choice for tom yum soup for me, I would have to say it's the shrimp. I normally will use a 21-25 count, and look at these beautiful shrimps. I mean, this color is just so amazing. These are also pre-boiled, and you know the easiest way. To use shrimp in the states is to buy the uh, frozen shrimps. It is really just as fresh as you getting other kind of shrimps in the supermarket. Keep it simple, okay, guys? That is the goal. And any type of mushrooms that you love, any of your favorite mushrooms, just throw them in. The only one I would probably stay away from would be the shiitake mushrooms because it is overpowering. And it could totally just take over all the herbs. Let's just throw them all in. I am a mushroom lover. If you again are a vegetarian, mushroom is the way to go. And now we got all our herbs. Seasoning. Thai food. It is all about the sour and the spicy and the salty and the sweet. When you balance all these flavors, your soul honestly just comes alive. So. My little technique for you is you can add all of the. Oh my goodness, so awesome! You would add your fish sauce, a little bit of sugar, and to add more spice to your life, you would definitely try to go find some Thai chili paste in this soya bean oil. You can actually get this in any of the supermarkets around the corner of your house. 
because it has become so popular. So my trick is, don't put the lime juice in yet. That is a fresh ingredient. You want the, that pow, that pungent to come out. So keep it at the end. Let all of this summer, simmer up. Oh, smells so good. And literally, that only takes just a few moments. We have all the ingredients in, let it boil over. And the key is always tasting. Thai food, you would have to say, it is a personal taste. Some people like it more spicy, more salty, more sour. I am personally more of a sour person, so that's how I like it. I have not added the lime juice just yet, but I wanna try the balance, what we got going on. It is so, so comforting. It is gonna make me tear up. The balance of all the herbs and the mushrooms. I mean, mushrooms has a natural umami flavor to it. The shrimp, that layer of flavor that you can create in such a short amount of time is just so magical. So I am ready to throw in some lime juice. My soup has now come back to a boil. I'm gonna stir it up and then we are going to be ready to serve. The garnishes that I love to add on is cilantro and green onions. Again, taste, 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 really important. It needs more, more fresh lime juice. That is the way that I love it. It's the way that my kids love it, and that's what we love to add. Okay, so you guys, how easy was that? We are ready to serve your tom yum soup. So simple, so easy, and so good. And the really fun part is, it is super impressive, and your friends would probably think that you took hours and hours to make this, but in reality, you know, we got it done. So there you have it. We have our tom yum soup, and it smells so amazing. Throw in some fresh green onions and cilantro to top it off. All of your fresh herbs you definitely want to add at the end because you get this extra level of flavor and just some yumminess. There we go. Smells so Enjoy, guys. Thank you for watching my So Foodies. There you go, Tom Yum Soup in under 10. Simple ingredients, things that you can find, and you are going to be feeding your soul. Thank you. Nikki, Feeding Souls.